morning. It is about 6.30. Made it up to the Twin Lakes Basin here. Beautiful morning. We got Eolus right there. Gonna be heading around these cliffs over to the, uh, to the trail. Beautiful. Looks like it's gonna be a good day. So here we are going up to Eolus. I can see the ramp right there just because pretty easy to identify. Uh, there's glissade marks right at the end of it. So now I know exactly where to go. Great. Okay, so it was not a glissade path I saw. It was the path created by this big rock that fell. So the ramp may be right there, or right there. I'm gonna look at my map, make sure. I think we found the ramp here. Just goes up and over, and then we'll start on the catwalk. This big steep part here, not the way, too steep. Whew. Amazing morning. The weather today is supposed to be sunny and nice. Oh yeah. Okay, made it up to the ridge between uh, North Eolus and Eolus there. So now we go on the catwalk and uh, pretty much climb up the ridge, class three, up to the top. Looking forward to it. On the catwalk now, getting a good look at the final pitch. Whew, gonna try to avoid the snow, but it looks okay. Yeah, it looks okay. On the class three part now, and pretty steep. It's not too exposed. Uh, still gets the adrenaline up a little bit, but uh, it's fine. There are Karens around, but I think the main route's kind of blocked by snow. So, gotta find kind of a different way. But we are almost at the top. And we did it. Uh, nice. Whew. Top of Mount Eolus. Wow. Man, these peaks are crazy around here. Steep, steep cliffs. It's amazing that Eolus is, remains class three, and it is class three. <coughs> so, we got North Eolus right there, which they say is like a class two, class low class three type thing. So a quick uh, hop over there, and I'll see what my energy level's at. When I get back to the lakes, you got sunlight and Wyndham right there. Well within my grasp. Okay, down we go. Nice and easy, nice and slow. All right, it was from the my campsite, which was right at the trail split. Only took me two hours, 37 minutes, just four kilometers. Here's uh, where I came up. I came kind of across this way and then up. I think I'm on the actual trail right now. And it looks like if you stay high, you can just pass through here and not step on that dangerous snow. I haven't seen anybody else, even though like there were 20 people on the train with me. Maybe they're all starting late. Maybe I'll see them on my way down. Okay, back at the saddle between Eolus and North Eolus. The route looks really easy to follow. Just across the ridge and then up. Here's looking back at what I climbed up before. So when I started, I went below that snow field and then cut up there and then left and kind of zigzaggy up. 
when I went down, I kind of stayed on top of that snow field and just cut across. It wasn't bad at all. Nothing really sketchy. Nothing like El Diente, that's for sure. So, up we go. Shouldn't take too long. Here we are. Top of North Eolus. <sighs> Took, like, I don't even know, six minutes to get from the saddle to here? Not that long. <laughs> Got a little winded, but really easy climbing. Straightforward route finding. At the bottom of the basin here, looking at the lakes, twin lakes. <sighs> Beautiful. And Eulis is back there. Sunlight directly ahead. And might be time to throw the crampons back on. We'll see. Probably gonna take a break here and eat a bar, drink some water. Heading up the uh, the steep part to the ridge of sunshine. It's steep, but the snow is really stable. Still using my poles. Up we go. I kind of uh, kind of cut left of the. Uh, there's the notch there where you're supposed to go up, but the snow is looking good, so looks like I could just cut up to the left here and then head up for the summit. The snow's still pretty stable. May go down the, the standard way, but crampons are biting right into the snow. It's pretty nice. Maybe this is the chimney.
That'll do. That'll do. Whew. Fuck. That's the tippy top. Whew. Yeah. All right. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Yeah, back down at the snow. Time to cramp on up again. And we're gonna go for uh, Wyndham right there. So I think I'm gonna cut across, go down to the left here, and then cut across up to that saddle right there. And I should be able to find the main trail from that point. Wyndham's just a class two, last one, sunlight, uh, definitely took a lot of energy to get up, but uh, still got some more. Made it to the saddle, taking a break, uh, it's been six hours since I started. There's uh, Eulis over there, North Eulis, sunlight, and Wyndham. Not too much further now, and we'll be there. Made it to the top, Wyndham Peak. Now, I think I've done my fair share of class twos. I would say this was harder than North Elios, Eolus, and Eolus is classified as class three. This had a little bit more exposure. It had more. Uh, I mean, I had to put away my poles way down there. Usually class two, I can keep my poles the whole time. Maybe I just wasn't on the trail. I don't know, but... Whew. Wow. Well, so that's it. All the San Juans are done. I did it in... What's today? Tuesday? Ten days? really pushed myself to get it done and I got it done and I'm feeling real real proud right now feeling excellent so it's a careful descent down and then uh, all the way back goodbye what an amazing day Another day of great solitude. I only saw one person going up Eolus. Uh, he was going up as I was coming down. Other than that, all alone. And the weather has been amazing. No, I haven't seen a cloud all day. Not a single cloud. So the views from the top were amazing. And these mountains being so far south, when you look back at the at the San Juans, you get to see the uh, south side. Very nice. 
looking forward to getting back and uh, fixing up a big lunch.